Hi guys and welcome to this video. This is a how-to video on breeding Danio Radio, which is the, the, the common Danio, um, Leopard Danio, Zebra Danio, Golden Zebra Danio. They all breed in pretty much the same way. Now, there's many different ways of doing it, but this video is just a general guide and it's how we do it um, successfully and um, yesterday we had a, a successful batch of eggs from a male and female golden zebra danio pair in the exact same way that I'm showing you in this video. So you've got your danio and you're wondering how to sex them. Very easy. Um, males are just straight through slender fish. Uh, females are a lot more broader, bigger, more swollen stomachs, especially when in condition. Colours on both fish, um, real pronounced colours. Um, the male particularly, he'll be showing uh, the better colours. So the likes of your zebra danio, they'll have little blue sheens across the flanks. The golden zebra danios. Um, a golden colour on the fins, real strong gold colour, can't miss it. So, you've got your fish, now you want to condition them. The way we do it is, we grab a male and female, put them in a separate tank for a minimum of a week. Now, during this week, we feed five times a day on a mixture of frozen artemia and frozen bloodworm along with the odd little bit of uh, live Daphnia, glass worm, that sort of thing, five times daily for about a week. Um, after the, the period of the week, you'll notice the, the female stomach really swollen uh, and nice and full of eggs. Once you've done that, you want to get yourself a small tank, like this one. This it's a little 12, be 6, be 7, um, that's length, width, height. You basically want to fill it up with uh, fresh water. Don't necessarily need a filter, although we do use um, small sponge filters, just bubbling real gently. And then, basically once you've filled that up, uh, like I said, there's a number of different ways, so you could have a, a mesh bottom, you could use uh, dark coloured marbles, um, but this video is our way. We use some of these, which is basically just wool, homemade, make them yourself in a matter of minutes, which we'll show you how in a separate video. So you, you just get six or seven of these. Uh, you want a mixture, some sunk, some floating, excuse me, um, and you basically you just want to fill up the aquarium as much as you can with these, till it almost pretty much looks as if there's, there's no swimming space really. Then, once you've done that, simply just put your male and female in as late as possible of the night, so I, I'd say we normally do it about 10 p.m. give or take. Then basically what you want to do is just turn your lights off and ju just leave them. Now Danios usually spawn um, up on first light, so basically the crack of dawn, or if you've got a fish room that's blacked out permanently uh, due to your boarding up windows. Uh, we've got lights set on timers so basically when the time when it the timer clicks on and the first light comes on that's basically dawn to the fish so once that happens we set ours for 9 a.m. 9 uh, so you know not very early so at first light you want to try and obviously you want to observe the behaviour that's the whole point of wanting to breed them you want to see how they do it the, the behaviour that sort of thing so you basically enter the room, sit yourself in front of the tank and what you'll notice is the male 
he's acting basically as if he's took some form of mad drug. Um, certainly one that I'd like to have a go off. He's basically bombing round the tank as, as quick as you can imagine, just flying round the tank, absolutely going crazy. Um, while the male's doing that, you probably won't see much of the female, she'll be hiding within the box. Uh, when the female does emerge, what happens then is the male um, curls round her and press it against the, the sides of her body. Um, now, he must do this, I don't know how, why, but he must do it with some force because it's when the male does this, uh, this is the part where the, the, the female starts basically spraying the eggs all over the place. Danny O's are an egg scatter species, so they'll scatter the eggs absolutely everywhere. And they're not necessarily adhesive either, which is unusual for fish eggs. Especially for me, because I usually breed cichlids and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically the female will spray the eggs everywhere. The male will chase round, releasing his milt, which obviously fertilises the eggs. And this can last, you know, two to five hours. Um, like I say, our lights, us our lights usually give them first light at 9am, and the, the whole thing's over by about 12, 1pm in the afternoon. After this, just take the pair back out of the aquarium. Um, into their normal everyday tank as you like. Once you've done that, get the mops, give them a good shake in the tank, bring them out and just put them wherever, throw them on the floor, put them in another tank, hang them on your washing line, just do whatever you want with them. Put them in the bin if you really want to. Um, unless obviously you're going to spawn them again, it's obviously going to be handy to keep them. Uh, and basically once you've moved the mops out, you've given them a good shake, look towards the bottom of the aquarium and from what I can only describe as little miniature glass balls should be formed in quite a tight-knit group on the bottom of the aquarium. That, that's your eggs. Um, entirely up to you whether you'd like to use meth glue or any sort of antifungal properties to stop fungus attacking the eggs. That's entirely up to yourself. And then, dependent on the temperature of the aquarium, so ours are set at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, our eggs should start hatching between three and five days. <coughs> and that's basically it, everyone. Um, real easy fish. Um, Nice fish to spawn, epic behaviour, real good fun to, to set up this kind of project, doesn't take long. Now, I'll just talk a bit about the water conditions, so you want your pH between 7, 7.5, and ammonium and nitrite zero, obviously. Our nitrate's currently sitting at 5 ppm, <coughs> temperature. You want that in the higher range of about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's it, they're not overly fussy fish. Real easy to breed once in condition. Um, and that's it guys, if, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to ask and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. Um, please rate, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another video shortly.